Grants, it's Grants Comics here, and today we will be re reviewing Spider-Man 55, right, yeah, 55, right there, it's just the variant edition, and, um, obviously you guys know the regular edition has, uh, Spider-Man's red, I mean, white instead of red, I mean, I will see that, I apologize if you guys can't see that, but before I get into the actual comic, I'm just gonna go in with the story. So the story basically revolves around uh, obviously Spider-Man, Mary Jane, the other spider people, and Harry Osborn. But at the time, Harry Osborn is already the Green Goblin. So basically, this whole thing is next year there's not, not really that much action going on. Um, until like kind of like towards the middle-ish, end-ish. So um, basically, Peter and Mary Jane try to talk to Harry, who is now the Green Goblin, telling him, you know, all this stuff is not your fault. Some of these, some of these stuff is our fault. You know, basically trying to tell him, don't kill these people for your own being. And um, Harry's like, oh, but he, what about my father? You're the you didn't you didn't comfort him. You didn't, you didn't tell me. That my father was was gonna die. All you did was let him free, let him die. You didn't do nothing to prevent it. So he was mad about that with Peter and with MJ. He basically wanted MJ to be on his side instead of uh, Peter Parker's side. But MJ was like, you know, I'm both of you guys' friends. And I don't want to take sides and stuff like that. Um, and there's like a few flashbacks. I'm actually going to, if I can find the flashback uh, pages, there's like flashbacks to when uh, the infamous uh, death of Gwen Stacy. Um, let's see what else there is. Oh, here's another one. This is um, Amazing, it's from Amazing Spider-Man 471 right there. I don't know if you can kind of see the page. I think this is the um, John Romita, sorry, with uh, the Green Goblin tying up Peter Parker. I think that's the one. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then um, there's this one right here. Uh, right there where it said this little panel. And this is from Amazing Spider-Man 40. So this is before the first appearance of Rhino, which I have right there. So this is like an, an issue before the Amazing uh, Spider-Man 40. And this is what... Harry looks like he looks like a zombie. Um, what else? If there's other, um, oh yeah, this is yeah. Mary Jane comes in later and she tries to convince um, Harry. Um, what is there? Is there any other flashbacks? Oh yeah, there's this one. This is, I think, this is also part of the John Romita cover, the, the famous John Romita cover. I need to, yeah, it is. I need to get on some of these older books. Um, but yeah, it's just basically Peter and um, Mary Jane trying to convince uh, Harry to not kill or spare the other, um, the other Spider-Man, and sacrificing. The original, obviously Peter Parker, instead of these guys, those guys. But there's the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin comes back from the dead, I guess. So that's basically what this whole thing is about. It's just mostly it's mostly talking between uh, Harry, Mary Jane, and uh, Peter. That's basically it. Not much. There's like there's like some action parts, like there's explosions and stuff like that. But other than that, it's just people. They're just those three guys just talking and trying to convince Harry to be on the good side and stuff like that. But now I am going to uh, do conditions. So when I got this, if you guys haven't seen the unboxing for for this issue, you guys can look it up or I can just try to find a link to the... I'll find the video and I'll try to put the link down below of this unboxing. But um, when I got this... Um, issue when I got this it came I don't know if you guys can see that but there you can see that bump right there it's like I don't care about 
doggy ears and stuff. The only thing I hate the most is this thing. Yeah, you can see that really well. It's like a wet spot. Either a wet spot or someone bent it. So I need to, uh... I need to... Oh, by the way, by the way, this is the second printing. Right there. Boom. But, um... Yeah, I need... But other than that, the back is cool. It's just the front. Yeah. But, um... I just need to get another copy of this. Hopefully... If one day I... When I go back to the comics shop, the local comic shop, I'm probably just gonna ask for this cover and the first print just to have in my collection. But for now, this is good to go. I'm happy with this. I only got it because everyone in the comic com comic book community was on it. Now everyone's gonna be on uh, Amazing Spider-Man 61 and 62. I'm still waiting for my Amazing Spider-Man 60. So, but anyways, that's gonna be it for now. Um, there's gonna be like two more uh, comic book haul. I um, mean, two more comic book reviews, and that's gonna be it for now. Possibly three, depending if Amazing Spider-Man 60 comes in. If not, there's only gonna be two comic book reviews. But obviously, there's gonna be more in the future. But in the further future, hopefully near future. I don't know. Just just subscribe to my this channel if you guys want to see it. But anyways, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. All right.